Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to give you a quick demo of my project Zoho integration with Python. Before moving on to the project execution, let me share the client's requirements with you and give you a brief overview of Zoho CRM and Python. The client wanted us to authenticate using OAuth2 on behalf of the user and get a token to collect data, automate business processes or workflows, analyze the data and reports, and collaborate with the application users. Let me now tell you about Zoho CRM and Python. Zoho CRM is a top-rated sales CRM software that helps businesses convert more leads, engage with customers, and grow their revenue. The web-based platform empowers SMBs and enterprises with 360 customer relationship lifecycle management solutions. It offers a wide range of features such as contact management, pipeline management, workflow automation, managing marketing campaigns, sales forecasting, customer support and service, inventory management in a single business system. Talking about Python, Python is a general purpose, versatile and popular programming language that allows programming in object-oriented and procedural paradigms. It can be used as a scripting language or can be compiled to byte code or building large applications. Its high-level built-in data structures combined with dynamic types and dynamic binding make it very attractive for application development. Let me share with you the benefits of integrating Zoho CRM with Python. With the integration of Zoho CRM with Python, you can assess users' data from other applications. The integration supports the authorization workflow for web, desktop applications and mobile devices. Moreover, the integration provides users with more control over their data to selectively giant access to various functionalities for applications they want to use. Let me now tell you about the authentication that was done with the help of OAuth2. OAuth is an authorization framework that enables applications to obtain limited access to user accounts. It works by delegating user authentication to the service that hosts the user account and authorizing third-party applications to access the user account. It offers authorization flows for web and desktop applications and mobile devices. OAuth2 has a few components interacting. The resource server is the API server which contains the resources to be assessed. SS tokens are provided by the authorization server, which can be the same as the API server. So, let's begin with the execution part. There are some important libraries which include Flask, Request, JSON, and HTTP redirect for directing and redirections. So, this is my API link, and if I click Send, it will redirect me to the browser along with the particular link and login page. Now I will enter my email address and the password. Then a new dialog box will appear where I will click accept. A new window will open on my screen which looks like this. It consists of details, owner, IDs, token and much more. Basically it will check the post method with the client ID and secret ID. To redirect the link with redirect callback URL with code and that code with the client ID and secret ID. Hit another API that will give me the SS token. The SS token is showing on my screen because I am returning the response using HTTP response. After successfully authenticating the user data link, user ID, email and domain the data will save in Postgres database along with username. That's all about the project. This is how we integrated Zoho CRM with Python using OAuth2 authentication. Are you looking to hire the best application integration services to stay ahead of the game with the latest technologies and processes? Forcebold experienced IT professionals are ready to provide you with the roadmap to success through app integration geared to your specific business. We can help you leverage information for improved decision making and enhance your system's capabilities and performance. Contact us now.